You are now tuned in to the official kickoff to your weekend. Giving you real talk and playing the best rock from today and yesterday. This is The Fix on BurnoutMedia.com. What's going on, everybody? It's the Dynasty, Trey Blaylock, right here on BurnoutMedia.com. You're tuned into The Fix. And, uh, yeah, I apologize, everybody. Uh, Kara is actually not available. No, just kidding. Kara's on the line right now. What's going on, Kara? Hey, what's going on, Trey? Yo, yo, yo. Uh, well, um, without further ado, I mean, I, I've already told all the listeners I'm going to do this. So let's just go ahead and knock this out. Let's not make this awkward. Uh, will you uh, marry me? Um, shoot. I'm going to go have to gracefully decline only That's because fair. I am taken. That's very rude of you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, rude! So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so you said that you're, you're taken. Um, is, is, is it a very, uh, is, uh, how long have you been dating whoever? Mm, three years. Oh, right on. Wow, wow. Um, quite a few callers were saying that you were single, so I don't know why they lied to me like that, but uh, yeah. Well, let, let's just go ahead and jump into this interview with the juicy questions. Everybody's been wanting to uh, hear what you're all about, so my first question is, for you is what inspired you to become an artist, to go on this journey of yours? Um, well, I would say from the beginning, probably my grandfather uh but it was basically it started with like my parents like hey why don't you try this and they put me in a bunch of different classes dancing acting whatever singing was like ever since I was 6 was like my favorite thing and then when I got to perform when I was little <laughs> I got to perform in like a show choir and we used to perform at like the Ronald Reagan Library and stuff like that and there was something about being on stage that was like so incredible for me, and I just, I knew I would do it forever. I knew that it was just, and uh, and as far as, like, writing, and I've always wrote lyrics and poems, and there's just something about the expression of, of throwing all, that all in with music that's so special to me, and uh, that's just kept me going. Awesome, awesome. Um, my favorite question that we always ask anybody that we come on to, uh, onto the show is, we always hear about most bands and artists' first show being total train wrecks. I mean, like their first show. Uh, what's your memories of your first gig? Um, well, I mean, first gig, I, I don't even remember. But if we think first gig with Shiny Toy Guns was probably... I remember, I remember wearing this awful white dress like short dress, and I remember, and I only did this like three times ever at all the shows, I for some reason forgot three times, but I put on a lot of, I put on red lipstick, and you just can't do that when you sing the way I do, and you perform the way I do, and I got off stage and I look in the mirror, and like the entire lower section of my face is just smeared pink, I'm like, oh god, the worst mistake, and then that and the fact that I was so out of breath, because I was just so excited, it was like my first you know, our first show, whatever. I was so out of breath on every song. You know, I think it was like that for the first week, actually, unfortunately. <laughs> but those two things are like the only thing that I remember, aside from probably forgetting lyrics, even years in- into performing with the band, the same album. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I have a horrible memory, too. I, I actually, uh, I'm a singer for a a horror punk band, so I kind of relate with you on that one. But uh, your new project is called Versant, right? Uh, actually, it's pronounced uh, Versant, but we say Versant. Uh, I kind of related it to Croissant. I was thinking, ah, it's probably a like. Why not? Let, let, let's call it that. Uh, uh, how is it pronounced? Versant? Oh, it's technically, if you... It's pronounced Versant, but we say Versant. I'm not going to lie, it was an accident. And we started calling it saying Versant. <laughs> but uh, that's how, in Sweden, that's how they would pronounce it, Versant, like like that. Uh, and that, it sounds way cooler, not going to lie. It's way better. <laughs> I agree, I agree. I, I, I will have to agree with you on that one. But uh, how did you decide on that name? Uh, well, basically, process of elimination. There was a couple, you know, wrote down five possibilities, narrowed them down. 
It just made the most sense. I mean, a lot of it, the biggest definition of it is the side of a mountain, but the one that, the one that caught my eye was kind of like knowledge in or experience in, and it's like, yeah, I'm starting over, but it's kind of something, you know, it's not my first time doing this, and I feel like, I don't know, the knowledge in or experience in, you know, I kind of liked that. It was just fun. Really? Again, it just sounds cool. Kidding. Nice, nice. Uh, I um I actually think it's a rather cool name. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can call in right now. We're getting a rather large amount of callers right now. So um if you want to call in, you know, go ahead and try to call in. But oh ladies and gentlemen, we got a call on the line right now, I believe. Uh caller, what's your name? Where are you from? Anna, Salt Lake City. Oh, Anna, uh what what's your question for Kara? Um, well, I uh, I wrote a, a profile essay, essay on her for college, and um, one question I didn't ask her, but I meant to, was um, why Sweden? How did she get in with the guys there to start Versant? Hi, Anna. I totally know who you are. Um, so, basically, uh, Daniel, uh, the who's basically my other half and my writing partner in this band, he... Um, when, when first things, quote, went down, we'll say, uh, it was immediately him and I, it was just, there was no question, uh, well, we're gonna do something. And then, Daniel's from Sweden, and everybody, it was just kinda like, okay, well, it just made most sense. Like, Sweden is such an incredible music scene, and so much great music has come from this country, and I love the culture. It just made sense to just get away, get away from everything, and just come to somewhere that inspired me and uh, and write music. Yeah. So that's why Sweden, and the rest of my band's from Sweden. So. Yeah. Um, Thank you very much for your call. Uh, since we're getting so many calls, uh, we have to limit one question per caller, but uh, we really appreciate you calling in. All right. See you later. So um, we, uh, apparently we just – we've got like 20 calls in the last uh, 15 seconds. This is, this is actually pretty amazing. Uh, we have never seen this before, Kara. We are breaking records. So. Woohoo! <laughs> um. But she talked about the members of the band. I want to ask you, how did you determine the members of the band? Were you a little picky about uh, who you would let in the band? And can you tell us a little bit about the band members? Well, uh, we were actually super picky. We thought to ourselves, it was Daniel and I thought to ourselves, um, I said, who's the best drummer in Sweden? And then we called him. And then we thought to ourselves, who's the best bass player we know? <laughs> and we called him. And, uh, by some, we really did just think, like, who is the best, uh, person, A, personality-wise, and B, talent-wise, that, that's gonna go in the, this, this thing that we want to create. And, um, we were pretty, for, pretty fortunate that everyone, that the, the gentlemen that we asked, like, they were all super excited about it, and they're all wonderful people, and some of the most talented musicians I've music ever met. So, very excited. Awesome, awesome. We got another caller. Caller, what's your name? Where are you from? It's Lewis again. Um, hey, Kara, <laughs> uh, do you have any relationships with your um, band members? <laughs> oh, getting dirty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do, actually, with Daniel. Oh, he's really? My... Wow. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's my love. He's my, uh, he's my other half of my strength. And my inspiration. He's he's uh, one of the most talented people I've ever met musically, and uh, he's incredible. Th th thank you very much for your question, caller. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're calling in right now, keep calling in. Uh, we're not going to disclose any callers. Uh, we're just going to keep... Wait a minute, do we got another caller? Uh, I think we have another caller. Uh, caller, what's your name? Where are you from? Uh, Valeria. All right, go ahead and ask your question for Kara. Um, oh, <laughs> when when is when does she think the CD is gonna be like out? Like when is it gonna be finished? Well, that's it's actually a super hard question because we don't know. You can really we don't want to put a cap on 
on how long it's going to take us. I can tell you that right now we're probably about halfway done with the album. And uh, I know that our goal, and it may be an unrealistic goal, but it's our goal and it's something I feel that we can obtain if we're, we go at the same rate, is probably late fall, I don't know, maybe around November, to have it done and ready to go out of this year. So that's the goal, but I, can, I can't make any promises. I just don't know. Okay, well, thank you, Kara. Of course, Anne. Thank you for your comment. Wow. Uh, Thank anybody you. that wants to tune in, anybody, I mean, call in, that is. Oh, well, never mind. We got another caller. Caller, what's your name? Where are you from? Hi, I'm Mariah, and I'm from Reading. Right on, right on, Mariah. What's your question? Uh, I was just wondering, um, what, like, was the first song you guys wrote for the album? Because I know right now Push Away is, like, gigantic. So, yeah. Push Away was, Push Away was the first song. Yeah, Seriously? Push Away was, no, yeah, Push Away was the first song that we did, um, and, uh, if you want to know a little dirt, <laughs> uh, Push Away was actually something that Daniel and I were writing for the Shine Toy Gun album. Oh, wow, so. that's cool, though. Yeah. No, yeah, and then basically we were like, all right, you know, here's our, here's something we're going to build off, you know, this sound, so. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for your comment. Uh, um, uh, have a nice day. <laughs> uh, so um, let's see if we have another caller right now, because like every single time, I think we don't. We do, and we don't. We don't. So let's go ahead and go into the next question for you from uh, the Burnout Media fans who've been sending in questions. What are your goals for the immediate future? Uh, immediate future. Finish the album, get on the road as soon as we can. All of us are really excited about playing live, and anyone who who knows what I've been doing for the last four or five years of my life knows that I've done... I was never home. <laughs> you know, I, I'm always playing shows, and I'm dying, to be honest. I'm dying to get back, to back out on the road and playing. So uh, that's a big goal for me, is to finish this album and then get on tour. So. Awesome, awesome. Uh, well, while we're uh, waiting on the next caller, I want to know your per – see, this is actually a very big deal to me. Uh, I'd like to get your opinion on uh, the whole Chris Brown-Rihanna thing. Do you, do you have anything to say about that at all? Oh, God. Um, if it's true, if it's true the severity of, of what uh, what they're claiming that he did to her – uh, I'm appalled by it, absolutely appalled, and I think it's disgusting, and I think that he should be rejected by the public. I mean, that's just something I don't stand for as a woman or just an American or anything, as a human. Um, and I know if I was Rihanna, I would have beat some ass. I would have. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel very bad for her. I know she's uh, apparently healing in Barbados, and I, I don't know it. If it's true, as I said, if it's true, then I think I think it's horrible, and of course everyone deserves forgiveness. And um, but I mean, he he. I hope he's sorry for that because there's just no excuse. There uh, really isn't. Yeah, I totally agree. Totally agree. No double mint gum for uh, you. So uh, we're gonna have to go to a short commercial break, and whenever we come back, she will still be on the line and. We will still be answering questions, so we'll be right back here on BurnoutMedia.com. Bookmark it. People who listen to our Friday night shows usually have this to say. Um, is it supposed to be stupid? And this is our answer. It's not stupid. It's advanced. BurnoutMedia.com. Media that's burning your mind. Howdy, partners. It's the Dynasty, Trey Blaylock, right here with Kara Charnow, right here on BurnoutMedia.com. And we have another caller right now. Caller, what's your name? Where are you from? Hi, this is Stacia from Maine. Cool, cool. Um, Go for it. Okay. Um, that, you have a new tattoo on your like upper right arm, kind of new. I can't figure out what it is. I, it's always like at a weird angle in pictures, and I, I was just wondering. <laughs> 
Uh, it's it's kind of like a, a collage of all things Japanese. <laughs> it's it's like a a geisha holding an umbrella or parasol with cranes and some bonsai trees and uh, a couple more hibiscus that match the ones on my wrists. And uh, it's kind of like a little collage. That's some cool. stuff that That's I thought was super. Ever. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, also, um, I, I asked you to marry me one time, and you said yes, and so I'm just wondering what's going on there. I was looking for you. I was like, where did she go? And then I moved on. I was like, what? I looked for you everywhere. You, but you said you've been with Daniel for three years. You said you... Asked you. No, last November, I asked you, and you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh I mean, no! Am I busted or yeah. what? Uh, well, ca- call her, call her. Uh, she is yeah. definitely taken. If uh, if if anybody's gonna have her, it's definitely the dude that she's with uh, or me. So we're gonna have to let you go for now. We got another caller on the line. Um, uh, producer, do we still got that caller or what's going? On? Oh, yes, I'm we do. <laughs> caller, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm, I'm Michelle, and I'm from Lubbock, Texas. Cool. Um, Go for it. Um, hey, Kara. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Um, I was wondering if you were um, ecstatic about all the the way the public received you um, when you went out on your own, because I know that it was overwhelming for me to see how much support you had, and it was great. So I kind of wondered how you felt about that. Yeah, to be honest, I I mean, the only real word to describe it is I was just overwhelmed. I was I was so overjoyed and overwhelmed with this tremendous support and and love, really, I was getting at, at that point in my life. And still, it's just, I can't even tell you how inspired it's made me to continue what I'm doing. It's really fueled, um, fueled in our right, in our everything. It's just, you know, keeps me going. Like, it's the best thing I know. Wow. So. Um, and one another question I had. Um, you sing with a little bit of a like a British type accent. Where do you pick that up from? Uh-oh. It's cool. I like it. You know what? <laughs> just a little bit. I got. I'm just gonna put this out there. I don't know where that comes from. I really don't. <laughs> and and when oh, I, I when it. I listen when I listen back, I don't hear it. And I've gotten yeah. it so many times, but I got. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know where it comes from. I can tell you something well, for sure. I'm not pretending to have a British accent, oh, and no. I don't want to have a British accent. It just, no. I really don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, it, it, I mean, I can hear it. It comes out. It doesn't sound like you're pretending. It sounds great. But now I have I a question. To... Is, it, is it when I talk yeah. or is it when I sing? When you sing. Huh. I, I think it's when you sing more than I'm you screwed. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you're great. But I just want to let you know that... That man, I love you to death. I can't wait to uh, see you somewhere, maybe in Texas. And uh, good luck to you. Oh, thanks so much, Michelle. I can't wait to come to Texas. We'll see you then. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Definitely, definitely. Uh, so, producer, do we got another? Yes, we do. We got another one. Uh, Call her. What's your name? Where you're from? And go ahead and ask your question to Kara. Hi, it's Vanessa, and I'm from Texas, Houston, Texas, mm-hmm. and I love. Love Kara's music. I love her in Shining Toad to Guns, and now I see her in Versa, and I just wanted to know, what's her favorite music? What, like, what's her favorite song right now? Oh, uh, shoot. Favorite song. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what my favorite song is right now. I haven't, haven't really had a chance to listen to anything... So. Much that's new. Uh, I did how, love it. How about it. some Jones Brothers? Oh, dude! Shout out to <laughs> Jones Brothers. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. But uh, the MGMT song that was out was good. I'm just trying to think of something that was like on the radio that was good. I really, no, I mean, just... I, I got to be honest. I listen to old stuff. I, it's harder for me to get into new stuff. And yeah, I, old I stuff is great. It's yeah. Fabulous. Just the old classics. It's okay. Pay, pay attention to your work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> focus on that because you're you're gonna make beautiful, beautiful record. Oh, thank you so much, sweetheart. All right. Take care. That's not, okay, you too. Bye. Okay, bye. Wow, ooh, ooh, we're, we're definitely. Band of horses. 
Band of Horses. Oh, go I've got to say Band of Horses. I love that band. Band of I haven't Horses. heard of them. What, what are they all about? I, I haven't heard yeah. of that. Check them out. They're awesome. They're, uh, yeah, have, think... have you played with them? or? No, no, I haven't actually, but I would love to someday. They, uh... I don't know where they're from. I don't know their names. I'm not good at that kind of stuff. But I, I think their music is incredibly in, inspiring and out of the box, and I love it a lot. Awesome, so. awesome. So, uh, okay. Well, I believe the callers. I believe we're not going to be having any more callers for the night, and we're going to be going into word association. Uh, yeah. So, do you know how to play word association? Uh, I can guess. <laughs> All right, go ahead and guess, and I'll tell you if you're right. Well, what do I just say? The first word that comes to my mind. Yes. Wow, you're 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 very smart. You're educated. I see. Where where'd you go to school? Um, uh, didn't go to college. Well, I started college to be honest, and I've taken a lot of psychology classes on like when I was a uh, a little bit at the end when I was on the road. I took online psychology classes, and then uh, while I was here in Sweden, I actually just completed a. Uh, child education, psychology thing. So that was a. Uh... But outside of that, just high school, New Bay Park, California. Woo! Nice, nice, nice. All right. Well, uh, word association. It is the first thing that you think of, of course. And we will start it with my favorite, Chris Brown. Go ahead. Uh, womanizer. I don't know. <laughs> Britney Spears. Womanizer. <laughs> Justin Timberlake. What? No. Um, golfer? I don't know. Sexy golfer? <laughs> the, the band As I Lay Dying. A uh, long hair? I don't know. Wait, As I Lay Dying. Oh, don't they have twins? Uh, I'm not sure. Their guitarist is on my show tomorrow, so I'm gonna have to ask. Am I blowing it? Shoot. I, I don't know. know. I, oh, I'd say yes. you do. No, I've met them. I've met them. They're they're good guys. Tell them I say hi. Right on, right on. I will, too. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a caller on the line. The last and final caller, and then we're going to go to a short commercial break. This is the last caller ever for this interview, and then we'll be done. Go ahead, caller. It's all on you. Um, hey, I'm Brandon. I'm from Jacksonville. Uh, Kara, I wanted to know what your inspiration behind Push Away was. Uh, Push Away was kind of a song about trust and convincing somebody who who didn't trust, we'll say didn't trust me, and it's like sitting there sc- screaming, like, like, don't you understand, like, you know, we're both in this together and that we're going to make it out of this together. And uh, and you still feel like you're getting pushed away, even though you're trying so hard. Not pushed away out of the relationship, but pushed away. Yeah. Um, uh, like they're hardening their heart towards you because they're scared. And, you know, being afraid of that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on. Right. Thank you very much for your call, Kala. Alrighty. So, uh, all right, well, there you go. There you go. And my last and final word for word association is burnout media. Uh, redhead. Whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Well, th- thank you very much for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. It was my pleasure. I had a lot of fun, too. So you you uh, I wish everybody here wishes you luck and hell uh, here in about six months to a year we'll see where you're at. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on. I'm excited. We'll see what this year brings and beyond. Take care. All right, bye everyone. Thanks again. All kinds of rock, extraordinary shows. Take the recommended dose. I don't have to be careful. I got a gun. Burnoutmedia.com.